Hi right, guys, back again for another one. This one, uh, it's gonna be basically a recap of an older video I done. When I first started out, back when I was still recording in 360p. Um, I done one about dolphin fish and catching one fad. So what I was gonna do with this one is basically a revamp of that. But I won't just talk about fads, I'm just gonna talk about how to catch, a few different ways to catch dolphin fish or mahi mahi in general. Uh, a lot of you guys will know most of this, um, but when I'm in the shop people do ask me what's the best ways to catch them and easiest way to catch them. And well there's all different types of ways, I will eat a variety of things, Not that they're not a fussy fish, not a fussy eater. So I was just going to give you a bit of a talk and on some of the ways I've caught them over the years and my favourite ways to catch them. And we'll start off with First of all, I'm not a huge fan of fishing fads. I can fish them, you can usually work out how to catch them off the fads and I'll get into that. But it's not really my thing. I don't really like being around crowds. I don't like fighting in crowds to catch a few small dolphin fish like this big. That doesn't interest me at all. But saying that, I will give you a couple of tips later on hopefully how to catch them. I prefer to go out, say, we're getting near that season, so I usually start trawling for dolphin fish around November. Like mid November is a good time to start trawling for them. I like the northeast 50s, 36s, 50s, depending on the weather. And the way I usually go after dolphin fish is just skirts. I just love trawling skirts around main reasons. It opens up you know, the different types of fishing catch. You're not just chasing dolphin fish. Like when you're trawling skirts around, you're chasing all the marlin species, you're chasing wahoo, you're chasing tuna. Um, at just all the game fish, the kale are plagic, so it's always fun. And for some reason, when we're trawling with skirts like this sort of size, say seven inch sort of skirts, seven inch in different colours, generally the dolphin fish you get a good quality dolphin fish, and not these little rat things like around the fads. Generally, a small one on these skirts that I get is roughly a metre long and probably eight or nine kilos. And they're the smaller ones, and from there they get a lot bigger. So I prefer to just I prefer to trawl skirts for them, okay? And when I am trawling skirts for them, I do, you do usually find that they'll hit most of the, the, like the riggers or the shotgun, so the lures further out away from the boat. And generally when your lure is out there, I've got the, like the lighter, brighter colors. I run the closer colors like the dark greens and blacks and stuff and purples in close in the corners. And I run nice, light, bright, shiny colors out wide. And this is the ones dolphin fish usually eat. I find a pinky sort of lure, I really do well for something like that, for dolphin fish. I'm not a huge fan of the Lumo colour, a lot of guys are for Marlin. But I just designed a yellow head for this one, it looks pretty cool, so we'll see how that one goes. I will give it a run each year, see how it goes. But it should work alright. I do like that, sort of similar to an evil, nice and shiny. That has worked well for dolphin fish in the past. Just nice shiny colour for dolphin fish. And when I'm out trawling these type of lures looking for dolphin fish early November when I start, mid-November, I will be running 15 kilo outfits just in case you do hook monster lures like a big bull. If you hook a big bull dolphin fish 25 kilo plus, you're going to need some pretty good gear because these, these things really go hard. Little ones, not so much, but the big ones, you'll need some good gear. And plus, you never know what a 40 kilo plus yellow fin or a black marlin or a striped marlin or even a blue marlin or a massive wire, who's going to jump on it? And I'd like 15 kilo. It just gives you, it's still light tackle, but it gives you a fair chance on a big fish. Okay, so skirts is my number one go-to for dolphin fish. So I just yeah, love trawling skirts. Next thing, while you are trawling skirts, and if you do hook, the, hook up the dolphin fish, generally they're, you'll catch like, if one rod goes off, there's a good chance the second one will go off. But if it doesn't, when you're fighting the first fish, when you get onto the boat, usually, you, especially the bigger dolphin fish, you'll see their partner. And a lot of people will, will, won't know how to get their partner. They use, end up losing it. Like they'll just swim away. As soon as you pull the, pull the one you're hooked out of the water, the partner will swim off. So the other th thing I like to do is before I start trawling in the morning, we stop at the bait grounds, get a lot of bait, yakkers or slimies. Prefer slimies, but if you can't get them, yakkers will work. Put them in the bait tank. And while we're trawling, I do this quite a lot. I have an outfit, a casting outfit. Generally this one. This is a stain on the nice palms rod. This is a 15 kilo outfit too. 
just in case it's big dolphin fish, okay? And all I've got is a fluorocarbon leader. I don't think that's fluorocarbon on there, but I usually have like a 60 pound or a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader and a good live bait hook. Just unweighted. And when you're out trawling on the 50s, generally I'll have a live bait hooked up on that. Still swimming in the bait tank with this just in the right holder down the back. So when we do hook a dolphin fish and we get up to near the boat, if we see their partner, we'll lob a live bait out and just, you know, basically float line it. And generally, nine times out of ten, you'll hook their partner on that and get two dolphin fish instead of one. Okay, that's just a handy little tip. I know a few guys know it, but a lot of guys don't, don't even think about it. If you haven't got live bait or forgot to get them or couldn't get them at this stage, take have a spin stick, have a lighter spin stick, and it's something you can cast some lures. So that's a 10 kilo, that's a 4,000 Stratocon 10 kilo outfit, okay? Something like that. And you've got some casting slugs, um, some smaller soft plastics, believe me, smaller soft plastics work, depending on the size of the dolphin fish too, you're not going to throw that at a big bull, you're going to throw a live bait or something worthy meeting. But little ones, that'll be fine, but some slugs, or what seems to stir them up, is stick baits. Something like that, and twitch along the, water, twitch along the surface, have a couple of casts with something like that, and see if you can hook their partner when they're, if you haven't got a live bait on board. Okay, so there's a, probably the first tip, and the way I like to get dolphin fish is once again you get the bigger ones. The other one is too when you see all like the coral spawn or whatever it is, but most people say it's coral spawn, um, and it's really thick, and you see a nice like a line of like orange stuff floating on the surface, you see a line of blue water on the other side, and it, go for case, trawl along the edge of that. Because a lot of the times you'll find dolphin fish sitting underneath that cover. They use it as cover, they cruise around under, underneath it and they'll use it as cover. So just trawl along the line. Just stay on the blue water side and trawl the edge of that coral spawn. Okay, that's a good way to find fish. And while you do it, especially on really calm days, you'll see that stuff's you know, really clumped together. On really calm days, not no chopping, the ocean's nice and calm and you see a coral spawn. While you're driving along, keep an eye on it because sometimes you'll see the tails or fins darting through it, just leaving lines in it. And if you see that, you can generally slow down. And once again, you got a live bait, a live bait rod, lob a live bait out towards where you see the lines or the fins. It's a good way to catch them because they don't always come out after the lures. But nine times out of ten, they will hit a live bait if you cast it near them. It's you know, get them excited, they'll have a crack at a live bait. So once again, when you troll them, the coral spawn, the thick coral spawn, just have a live bait ready to go. Just keep an eye for uh, lines cutting through it. You'll see fins or tail fins cutting through it. You do see that quite often when you know what you're looking looking for. And love a live bait out once again. If you haven't got a live bait, try some sort of a lure. Just throw something out to stir them up and might hook one. Uh, the other way is basically if you're not even trawling, you're out in the 50s or the 36s, the water's nice and blue and it is summertime, throw a couple of unweighted live baits out the back, okay? Even if you don't see dolphin fish, if you're float lining for snapper still out the 36s, bottom bashing, just fishing as usual, get a rod like this casting one, put a live bait on it, unweight it, throw it out the back, let a heap of line go, and just let him freeze from out the back. You'd be surprised. If there's a dolphin fish in the area, they'll find the live bait and come and eat him. Okay, you don't, won't always see them in the area, you won't, you won't know they're there, you won't always see them. But if you throw a live bait out, let him free swim, you'd be surprised. There's probably one not far away. Okay, next thing is while well, we're on the trawling. The other thing to do, if you don't like trawling skirts, 36 and 50s, trawl hard bodies. Dolphin fish respond very well to hard bodies. They love these things. So do tuna, so do wahoo. Okay, so if you're not into trawling skirts, put some hard bodies out and troll them around. It's also a good way to find dollies, wahoo, and tuna. Marlin will hit them too, but generally with the treble hooks, you don't stay connected, so that's a bonus. You get a bit of a show and I'll throw the lure, that's all good. But wahoo, tuna, dolphin fish love hard bodies. And once again, same as the skirts, troll around six and a half, seven knots. Don't go too fast, but six and a half, seven knots is a good all round speed. Okay. And on the same sort of trolling outfit, just in case you hook a big one or you know a big yellowfin or something. You never know. A lot of fish out wide like hard bodies. 
And not many people troll hard bodies out wide. They always put skirts on. Like I said, I run these early in the season because I know there's going to be marlin and stuff around. But later in the season, when the marlin start tapering out and things, um, and it's wahoo season, I'll go out there and I'll troll these things because I'll be targeting on wahoo and you'll still get the odd, odd dolphin fish and the elephant. So a hard body is always a good way to go. Uh, now we'll get to the fads. You all know about fads. You all know about throwing live baits at the fads on rods like this. Even like uh, something like this, just a hook, unweighted purely, throw it out, let it drift down, fluff past the fads. We all know that. That's okay. But what a lot of guys don't knew, don't know. There's a few different things you can try. You can try micro jigs. A few guys do this, but not a lot, and they do work very well for the at the fads for dolphin fish, especially if it's not a lot of current, just a trickle. Little micro jigs will work well. Oh, drop that one down there. So that's always something to think about. Even if we'll stay on the jig theme, even on little jigs like this, like this little octopus squid, also work very well for it. It's got a nice heavy weight in there, so these will go down, it'll look like a squid. Have caught dolphin fish on that as well. Once again, just put on your slow pitch rod. The other way to go, if you, there's a lot of little dolphin fish around, you just want to have some fun with the kids. Um, or actually catch your first one, or just catch a couple of small ones for a feed. Don't count out little soft plastics. Okay, because everyone's always throwing big baits at dolphin fish. But sometimes, especially at the fads, you see a lot of smaller ones. They will respond well to little little soft plastics, especially something with a nice soft tail, it's got a bit of action to it, you just wind it in, it's got a bit of action. A light head just to keep it under the surface and swimming. And try and stick to a colour that's similar to them. So we'll eat that. Okay. So something like that will work well, and it's definitely worth a try if they're not eating your big live baits off big pilchards or big baits. Try something small and light. And on this theme of small ones, back at fads, sinking slug, like these big slugs, that looks like a white bait, look at that. Casting near, this, near the, uh, the fad, let it sink down, then rip it back through the water column up like we do with mackerel at times. A good way to trip or a bite from a dolphin fish. You don't need to go too, too big because most of the bait around the fad is really small. So try something like that. And two more things here. Okay. If you do see a few big ones, try a pencil popper, something like this. Okay, and work it really fast. Don't wind slow or try and twitch it or anything. Cast this out as far as possible and rip it past the fade if you, if you saw some good ones there. And rip it past fast. I mean, really, really fast. Get these things skipping on the surface like it's fleeing. And if there's any decent ones there, even the small ones, depending on how many boats are chased, on you know, how much are being bombarded through the day, but they do respond, respond well to pencil poppers. Now this is a old cotton cordell. This is one of my all-time favourite lures, especially down south for kingfish. You catch a lot of kingies on this. I have caught a few dollies on it around fads, but I don't use it a lot anymore. I've got another one over there somewhere scratched up. But something like that is always worth a shot. And even like um, the coral spawn, and you know there's some dolphin fish out there, throw something like this and get it skipping through the coral spawn and making a track. See how this goes. I bet you get smashed. And last but not least, this I did talk about in the last video, but a lot of guys don't do it. These are the sluggos. Also a good thing to try around fads. Okay, or even just general dolphin fish in general. If you see their partner when you hooked, you got one, and you see their partner swimming down deep, try this in the coral spawn. Try one of these. These act like a dying, dying garfish. They originally, a friend told me about them. I don't know, twenty plus years ago. They used to use them in Sydney Harbour for kingfish, and I've been using them in the Gold Coast Broadwater for kingfish. They kingfish love these things, but so do dolphin fish, and not many people do it because all of a sudden they all they do is they see this now, and they think flathead. I think it is a great flathead lure, but they work really well for dolphin fish too. Especially, just don't worry about a stinger hook, you're not chasing flathead. Just a nice big worm hook. You can see when that pushes down, plenty of points going to come out, you're not going to miss. Okay, these things, get them near a fad or coral spawn if you see fish, let them sink down a bit, really rip the rod, and really get these things darting and gliding. Dolphin fish love these things. Guys, give these a go, seriously, they do work really well. For small and large ones. And it's something I know a lot of guys don't do, but it's well worth the thought. The good old sluggos, or if you can't get the original sluggo, um, slapsticks they're called.
still sar slapsticks. They're not the slapsticks aren't bad. They're not quite as soft, but they still get a good action. So give them a give them a crack. And last but not not least, I think you saw it before. I was going to say when you're around the fads, you can't cast the little lures on like this big heavy sustain I had here before, 15 kilo. That's more for light baits, bigger baits, bigger lures. But take out a small spin stick. This is 10 kilo. It's a 4,000 stratic on a nice 8 kilo spin stick, seven foot spin stick, and if there's a few smaller dolphin fish around, like you got a little stick bait like that, that's a little Sammy. That thing I can cast an absolute mile on this outfit. And for the smaller fish around the fads and just working and twitching, walking the dog, this works well. Especially when there's not many boats around. And you got the fad to yourself or a couple of boats and the fish are there. Just try a smaller, a smaller stick bait on a lighter rod and it's always good fun. And if a decent one comes through and hooks up on that, yeah, they go hard, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, oh, that was an interesting talk. I wonder what I missed. Guys, if I missed something or if you got a, if something you do that I didn't talk about and you want to share, let us know in the comments. It'd be interesting to see what you guys do. Um, I think that's about it for a little, just, it's just a chat on dolphin fish and what I do and some of the outfits. So try some of those techniques guys, go for a troll, go for a jig, throw some live baits out, unweighted pillies, we all do that. And let me know how you go. Uh, if there's something I missed, please let me know in the comments. And hopefully with the season starting shortly, we can get some footage of catching some fish. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? And I'm looking forward to eating one. They're one of my favorite fish to eat. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one, and I will see you again next week for whatever's next. Thanks, guys. See you then.